Hey guys, uh, we'll do something a little different now on the channel. This is my beautiful bride, Miss Riveter, and so back before we had kids, um, we used to play this game called uh, You Don't Know Jack, and it was, uh, I had it on the PC or whatever, and uh, we used to sit around and play. This was our, was a cheap source of entertainment for us, and we, we had a lot of fun with it, and then I seen that they had this on the PlayStation, and um, so... His brainwaves. The greatest mind in the world now resides in a pocket calculator. So anyway, and with the help of a so friend, he'll anyway, <clears throat> and crunch some we're going to we're going to play. You don't know Jack, and uh, that's great. Turn it down a little bit more. Can you still hear that? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So anyway, we're going to play the game, have a little fun tonight, and uh, have some laughs, hopefully, and uh, maybe some tears. You might lose. It's a possibility. It's it's a it's a great possibility. It's it's a really good possibility. Uh, but anyway, so we're ready. So go ahead and kick us off. Just push your base in. Okay, here we go. Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson, and whenever I see an attractive woman, I make this sound. <laughs> Excuse me, I just, just had a very clear image of what your love child would look like. There's your hardware. If you think an opponent doesn't know the answer, hit your screw button and you'll force them to answer immediately. If they miss it, you win big. And our wrong answer of the game is sponsored by... Slightly used balloons. <laughs> the more these balloons deflate, the more your wallet inflates. Sniff out our sponsor's wrong answer of the game and you'll end up with a great prize and serious cash. Uh oh. All right, we're taking off. So don't look at my screen over here. Right off the bat, Mexican do attitude. <laughs> what did Porky Pig order at a Mexican restaurant without committing ca 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 cannibalism? Al Pastor, Chorizo, Ceviche, or Lomo Adobada? <laughs> Players one and two, Ceviche <laughs> is fish. <laughs> Great idea. Give spicy Mexican food to someone who doesn't wear pants. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, Mark TV, and it's a this or dad. Oh no. Player one, you're in last place, so I choose you to play this this or dad. Oh. I'm gonna read off seven names, and for each one, tell me if it's a sales department on Walmart.com, an MTV show, or both. If it's a Walmart department, press the square button. If okay. it's on MTV, Press the circle button. If right. it's both, press X. Okay. Player two, choose your answer before player one. And if player one gets it wrong and you get it right, that cash is yours. Mm. Alrighty then, here it comes. Bats. Cribs. Mugs. Skins. Juniors. Juvies. Tools. We're rolling back your score. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't have a jackass department, though. So <laughs> you need to calm down on that problem. What's up? Good night. I'm excited. I'll lose it's it all. But... Just want to check in. Hey. How do you feel? With the pharynx, with the thoracic cavity, with the pulmonary veins, or with the thalamus? Player two? Ow. Player one. Located just above the brain stem, the thalamus acts as the relay station, sending information like pain to the brain. At least they give you That's some fine, pain, see if your thalamus is working. <laughs> 
Because that ain't all that's working. <laughs> that went on there. <laughs> what a choice. Eh, okay. Uh, whatever. Say hello to for whom the dinner bell tolls. Oh dear. Ooh, it's almost time for my dinner. Better have this fortune cookie first, as prescribed by my doctor. Cookie, fortune, cookie, fortune, cookie, fortune, cookie, necessary. Hmm, not bad. Let's see what my fortune says. Laughter is the best medicine. Hmm. If that's true, which character from the nursery rhyme Hey Diddle Diddle is the healthiest? The cat, the little dog, the cow, or the spoon? Players one and two? Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> I so wanted you to pick this one. In the Mother Goose nursery rhyme, hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the little dog is the one that laughs at all the crazy stuff going on. This was pre-YouTube, you understand, so if somebody told you a dog laughed, you just had to take them at their word. Why not try? I've had intimate thoughts about Adam. Which of these people is B.I. Curious? Someone interested in sexually experimenting with barium? Someone looking to explore with bromine? Someone flirting with beryllium? Or someone fantasizing about bismuth? Player one, what were you thinking there? Player two? No, no, I'll get this. The chemical symbol for bismuth is B.I. Well, I guess you can see we don't have no chemistry. <laughs> oh, we so want that. Hey, I watched Bro Breaking Bad, didn't make it. Unless that's what you're into. Look, I don't know, man. That's the end of a thrilling first round. Don't awesome. forget, all the questions around two are worth double. Ew. And lest you forget, our wrong answer of the game is still out there waiting to be picked. Okay, let's see what's next. I'll save you. Coming up next, spit up or shut up. If Lady Gaga changed her name to the most common first word spoken by babies, what would she be called? Oh boy. Lady No, Lady Dada, Lady Cats, or Lady Mama? Players one and two? According to a poll performed by YouGov, Dada or Daddy was by far the most popular first word spoken by babies. As it should. Out mama or Mommy by a considerable margin. As it should be. Why? Is a good name, right? <laughs> Please just say yes because that's the name of the screenplay I wrote for Adam Sandler. <laughs> Shake that funky thing. Let's try childhood murmuries. Mm. It looks like we have a sort of treat today. My good acquaintance, old man, somehow found his way into the studio again. How's it going, old man? Ah, terrible, Mr. Shapiro. Yeah, it's uh, Mr. Masterson, actually. Since when? Since birth. I know we're on Earth. <sighs> Anywho, I need your help remembering something. What's that thing? Who's that fella? Where's that squirrel? What's that supposed to be? It's foggy facts. A purple walnut? No, no, no. It's even a raisin. <laughs> Jeez, I don't know. <laughs> bad. Bad. Wow, it's something I used to do when I mm. was just a lad. Uh, not sure the history books go back that far, but I'll see if I can help. Why don't you describe it to me? Sure thing, Nate. It's a game. British kids like to play it, I think. You get three strikes per turn, and seeds are involved somehow. What is that game? Would it be uh, Conkers, Queenie Queenie, Marbles, or Five Stones? It's not letting me. Player one, not much time left. We won't. Player two? <laughs> it wouldn't let me answer. My screen went dim on me. Wait for it. Wait for it. Of course oh, not. You're gonna kick yourself. You thinking of conquers, old man? Hey, 
Hey, Conkers, yeah! Never heard of it. It's an old British kids game I used to play. <laughs> Each player has one of these seats called a Conker, and they take turns whacking at them. Three whacks per turn. Why oh, is that fun? <laughs> Jeez. It's hard to imagine you as a little kid, old man. Well, I look pretty much the same. Mine is the liver spots. Didn't start growing those till my early 20s. Mm -hmm. And when did you start smelling like liver? Hmm, that depends. When was liver invented? Ugh. Follow me down to the sea. Oh, Here's a good one. All rise for the Honorable Dinwoody Fudnuddler. If trees brought a class action lawsuit against lumberjacks, which Dr. Seuss character would they most likely hire as their legal counsel? The cat? The screw is in you, player two. Five seconds to make a choice. Damn, that time just flew by. Damn. Player one nicely screwed. Let's see if you can make this really hurt. Player one. The Lorax speaks for the trees. And in a lawsuit, the legal counsel speaks for its client, in this case, the trees. It makes sense the Lorax would be a lawyer. He always sues. <laughs> I guess you can talk to him tonight. Oh. You and your thalamus. Well. <laughs> Her up for calm there down over there in my pants and you're all invited okay as usual if you get this correct there's a little extra in it for you speaking of extra put these underwear styles in order from least butt cheek revealing oh my to Lord. most butt cheek revealing this is right up your alley bikini tonga bikini tonga thong tonga thong bikini thong bikini tonga or tonga bikini thong most revealing to less least player two get out of here seriously get out of here player one Bikini style underwear cover the butt cheeks more than Tonga style, and Tonga style cover more than thong, which leave your butt cheeks pretty much all out there. That'll net you an extra grand. But really, any style that doesn't expose my vestigial tail works fine for me. Vestigial tail? What is a vestigial tail? Don't ask me. Here's one I like to call feeling fines. I love that actor from Schindler's List and the English Patients. You know, the one who plays Voldemort. But I'm never certain if I'm pronouncing his name correctly. What's the proper way to say that Mr. Fines has to throw up? Ralph has to Ralph, Reef has to Ralph, Rolf has to Ralph, or Rafe has to Ralph? Well, they're all the... S Player two? <laughs> Player one. Um, excuse me. Allow me. Yep, Rafe Fine's first name is spelled like Ralph, but pronounced Rafe. And his brother Joseph Fine's is pronounced <laughs> Joseph. They're all the same. S S F A M O U S. God, that's a stupid question right there. How the slap you in your little bald head there? You deserve forked in the head. Oh, yourself for what the happens attack. on these things? Oh. When you see two clues that match, press the X button. 2000. Well, don't mind me then. Here's your clue. I love you like a legal guardian. I hope you know who adopted or just took care of who. Love you like a legal guardian.
I don't know this one. I guessed right. It is. Okay, I don't know. Sad. See the scores. <laughs> it's Ooh. bad. Player one, you cleaned up, which isn't saying much when you're playing against someone with the personality of waxy build up. Player two, next time you want to play against player one, remind yourself. You don't know Jack. Oh, waxy build up. That was harsh. I was a little harsh. I know it was. was so we want to play another episode. Yeah, you got another episode in you tonight, yeah, baby? Okay, here we go. Here we go, another episode. Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson, and uh, anybody know how long you have to cook a chupacabra? Yeah, it's just tender. <laughs> okay, you two, I want a fair fight. None of this, or this, or this. Everybody's got their screws. If you think another player is clueless, screw them and make them answer. Screw me, baby. Evidently, we didn't get the right one. On the, we've never seen the egg. He's mysterious. He's elusive. Teen Sasquatch. I think we had that in our house for a while. A couple of them. Pick the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to win a fabulous Especially prize. by the time they start getting hairy. Jeez. Okay, it's time. First up, not so smart Alec. What is Alec Baldwin most likely to scream at a dude with a camera who works as part of the paparazzi? Fuck you, you fucking paparazzi! I'll f you with. Player two, you've been screwed. You got five seconds. Whoa. Oh, that was nice. Oh. That's how you screw player one. Why not grab a few more bucks while okay. you're at it? Player one. This is so fing wrong. Oh. Watch how easy this is. The singular term for paparazzi is paparazzo. And as a rule, paparazzi are borderline vile, but you still shouldn't f them in the fing. That's just sinking to their level. That's bad. Take a stab at Drake a leg. Ah. Oh my god, for a second there I thought I saw my ventriloquist dummy Billy O'Brien again. I've been having visions of him just showing up at the most in our two tune times. Ah. Ah. One's made of skin, one's made of wood, so who's the dummy? Not me. Not me. It really is you. It's always me, you dunny. I was hoping you were just a mirage. A mirage that we're not in a desert. Oh, speaking of which, where would you be if you saw me as a mirage in the Gogi Desert? Pakistan, Mongolia, Peru, or Mexico? Player one. What are you, drunk on margaritas? Oh, Player Lord. two. Yes, the Gobi Desert is in China and Mongolia. Just don't sneak up on me anymore, Billy. Okay, no time. I don't have a clue. Someday I'm gonna murder you. I'm sorry, what was that? Well, you don't say anything. 
broke clocks right at least twice a day. Shacking <laughs> up. Oh. Where should a large shacko be worn on Shack O'Neill? Oh his Lord. extra large ears, his big feet, his large head, or his massive hand? Player two. Sucks to be you. <laughs> Player one. Shackos are a military style hat with a large feather in the front, often worn by marching band leaders. There you go. Ooh, I'm in the green, not in the red. That's a good place to be. Yeah, that's what they say. Who's that sexy jazz? Saxophone. That sax appeal. How about Russian ladies looking for young men? Okay. Stop the train. It's a yeah. diss or dat. Oh, it's a diss or dat. Player two. Why don't you play this diss or dat and see if you can't yeah. catch up a bit? I am going to list off seven things. And for each one, I want you to tell me if it's... Something that happens to Anna Karenina in Tolstoy's classic novel, Anna Karenina, or a Justin Timberlake song. Oh, no, well, great. Anna Karenina, press the square button. If it's Justin Timberlake, <laughs> press the circle button. Oh, Lord, this is going to be great. Try to lock in your answer before player two, because if player two gets it wrong, but you get it right, you'll steal that cash. Cool, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Adultery. Childbirth. Murder. Amnesia. Suicide. Future sex. Nothing else. Apparently, you don't know the classics, and you don't know much about Anna Karenina either. There you go. Gonna tell you that one. I keep meaning to reread Anna Karenina, but I've been waiting for time and I really want to fall into a deep, deep depression. Here's one for you. Woody or wouldn't he? What would it mean if Woody Allen were an alleged pedorthist? He's been accused of touching shoes, he's been accused of touching grapes, he's been accused of touching bugs, or he's been accused of touching feces. Players one and two? A pedorthist is a doctor or healthcare professional who focuses on feet, especially shoes and inserts that can help with pain relief. And look, I'm not saying he's a shoe doctor, and I'm not saying he's not a shoe doctor. But the one thing we can all agree on is that The Curse of the Jade Scorpion was a terrible movie. That'll bring an end to our first round. Keep in mind, all the prizes are doubled in round two. Here's your chance to catch up, baby. Mm. We don't want him getting rusty. Here we have Pup All Night. Pup All Night. Considering their lifespans, which dog from the first Puppy Bowl would be the least likely to be alive to watch Puppy Bowl 11? That adorable poodle puppy, that adorable Great Dane puppy, that adorable Dachshund puppy, or that adorable pug puppy? Player two. <laughs> Player one. As a general rule, the bigger the dog, the shorter the lifespan. So the Great Dane, with a life expectancy of about seven years, is um, probably not going to make it. Oh, we're going to get some angry posts on our Facebook page about this question, I can tell. But it's not my fault we live in a world where horrible things happen. Question seven. Come on, I know you losing two games in a row, but it's okay. Say the incredibly down-to-earth Jennifer Lawrence decides to go skydiving. Mm -hmm. If on her way down to Earth she reaches terminal velocity, what down-to-earth thing might you hear her say? Wowzer, I could not be going down to Earth any faster. Aw, oh, man, I'm going down to Earth slower every second. Lol, I broke the sound barrier on my way down to Earth. Or, cool beans, I'm actually now going away from Earth. Did you put the screw to me? Player two? Yeah. No, but how adorable would it be if she said that? Player one. 
A falling object or adorable movie star that has reached its terminal velocity will not speed up anymore on its descent Maximum before hitting velocity. the ground. It's falling as fast as it can. But even if she fell to her death, I bet Jennifer Lawrence would leave the most adorable crater. I'm sorry. For what? Spanking that booty. Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, or Uranus. Which one, baby? Why did Uranus come out of Albert Einstein? Closely associated with Miranda and Ariel. Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, or Uranus. Miranda and Ariel. Player one. Okay. That's just nuts. Player two. Miranda and Ariel are two of the larger moons of Uranus. And you can't have moons without Uranus. <laughs> oh, pulled that one out of the old keister, didn't we? Absolutely. Yeah. I ain't lying. I didn't have a clue. <laughs> Coming up. Hi, Caramba. I'm a cold blooded killer. Say Bart Simpson decides to start going around attacking authority figures with his slingshot. If it turns out like the story of David and Goliath, what might happen? Principal Skinner will die after getting shot in the forehead. Chief Wiggum will die after getting shot in the gut. Mayor Quimby will die after getting shot in the heart. Or Homer Simpson will run away after getting shot in the groin. Player two, watch that clock. Players one and two. David slays Goliath after slinging a stone into the middle of the giant's forehead. So that's how Principal Skinner might meet his untimely demise as well. But it really wouldn't be that much of a loss. Springfield is literally crawling with people who sound exactly like him. Last question, baby. Put those screw to me. Try this on for size. I'm gonna need two oceans of calamine lotion stat. Uh oh. If the 80s hairband poison were like poison ivy, what part of them would give people a rash? The fumes from their hairspray, the oil in their makeup, the silk on their rockin' clothes, or the ink layers one and two? Coming in contact with the oil on a poison ivy plant is what causes the skin to break out in a rash. So if the band poison were similar, it would probably be best not to touch their oily makeup. In fact, hey, you're in the green. Not to touch any part of the Just band not high enough. No idea where they've been for the past 25 years. Oh, we got another round? Hmm. Mm, maybe I spoke too soon. Jack attack. Welcome to the oh, Lord, this is the X. When you see two clues that match, press the X button. Oh, do you need to be somewhere? My mistake. Here's your clue. Climb time. What did these guys climb? Good luck. Oh, jeez.
Hmm. <laughs> Final scores. Woo! Sad state of affairs over here. Sad state of affairs. Sad state. Player state. one takes it. Excuse me, player two. Did you say something? No, I didn't think so. After somebody picked your bump like player one just did, there's only one thing to say. You don't know Jack. You don't know Jack. Okay, well, guys, that's going to wrap it up this evening. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the mighty Mrs. Riveter and I and um, Come on down to playing some, uh, some great you don't know Jack here. Let me mute him out there. So anyway, uh, I don't know how often we'll do this. Uh, maybe in the future we might even uh, uh, one evening stream live and uh, let some of you guys join in with us as you can you can do that, and we'll we'll play live. So anyway, uh, until then, y'all take care. Have fun. Bye.